So Trent, Trent, for those that don't know, there is a hilarious, it's worth checking out. There are several Reddit threads that if you read through people's trend stories that will make you die laughing. My, my brother and I sat and did it for like two hours the one day drinking beers and we were on the floor laughing because it, it seems to have a unique effect that even the other ones don't have, <laughs> at least in some individuals. Do you have any, any insight there? Did you feel any strangeness when taking trend? Because people's stories are hilarious um, of what, the, what they experienced when on a cycle. Yeah, is that, is that fact? Or fiction yeah. that <laughs> oh yeah no trend trend balloon is unique it's uh so like you know i think there's uh there, there's a there's a book out there i forget which one it is but like there's like anabolic reference guide or something it's a big old like big old textbook and it has all these like ratings you know of of how anabolic and androgenic some of these drugs are and you know testosterone gets like a hundred for both or something like that. And, you know, it, it just lists out these other drugs, but then you, you flip to the page that has a uh, trend balloon on it. And it's like 500, <laughs> you know, it's like, just it's like, it's like off the charts. Uh, trend balloon, uh, interestingly enough, uh, is when it's in a bottle, it's very, very yellow. Um, it just has like a weird, you're like, that's odd. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it looks, it looks dangerous and, uh, and it can be, I think, you know, when people start to, you know, the, the issue always is dosing, right? Like, um, I think that we know that like THC and mushrooms and stuff like that, it's probably just like people having a good time for the most part. And even some alcohol here and there, mm -hmm. it sounds like just people having a little bit of fun, but it's really easy to overdo it. It's easy to get, uh, addicted to stuff. Another interesting thing with trend balloon is when you take a shot of it, it can make you, it can give you a coughing fit. So that is like a really weird thing. Cause you're like, well, what's the mechanism behind that? And nobody knows either. No one has any idea. Um, it'll just be like, you're walking down the street and you get like, you know, some pollen or something, or you swallowed a bug or something. You can't get anything to, to get that out of there. But at least in that case, at least there's actually something that like, that that you know is going to probably clear at some point but with trend balone that happens and then you just <clears throat> you feel like you're gonna like cough and choke so much you just like blow your own head off so <laughs> it uh it definitely has some weird and unique properties but it makes you really strong it makes you really muscular looking um bodybuilders use it a lot of times as they get closer to their contest prep Powerlifters love it because it makes them really strong. Then you also run into that same issue where it makes you strong really fast. And so you have to be cautious uh, that you don't, you know, blow off a muscle. I don't have any particular um, like trend stories, but just, you know, from what I do know about, you know, I've, I've taken it before, but um, I don't have the same experiences as everybody else most of the time because uh, I'm very calm. I'm just like, uh, it's something I've, I've also like worked on over the years, um, having balance and equanimity and, um, just a huge fan of like really trying to like keep my stress levels. Like part of the reason why I don't have email and part of the reason why I don't ever really use a computer other than a special occasion doing this podcast with you guys. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I like to keep the stress levels real mild and so even when I have taken performance enhancing drugs, they never, there was never a time where they really moved me too much one way or the other. Uh, however, when you're working out, they can feel awesome. At least that's been my experience. So like when you're working out and you kind of need that little extra, you know, someone just cheers you on. So, you know, a, a friend just encourages me and say, let's go or something. And you're in the middle of set. And it gets you to go a little deeper into the set. You were going to do eight reps. Now you got 12. Well, that's to me, that's what steroids feel like. It, it, it feels like there's that little push uh, in the back of your head. And I think they're one thing that's that you don't really hear talked about that much is I think they can be really motivating, um, especially testosterone, especially if somebody's going from uh, having low or non optimal testosterone levels to having more optimal testosterone levels that could really help. But yeah, trend can make you irritable. It can, uh, it can mess with your sleep and it can make you like extra sweaty, but you know, I don't know. I was 330 pounds, so I was going to be extra sweaty no matter what, probably. <laughs>